Okay, okay, who's ready for some MEG test results? Look at this thing, man. It's so awesome. So the layers in this transformer core are 20 microns thick. So this really helps reduce the losses in the core, um, reduces the eddy currents and the heat loss. Um, so basically what I've been doing is experimenting at home to find the optimal operating frequency for this transformer core. You know, uh, normally in your house for your lights and whatnot, they operate at 60 hertz. And I found that 60 hertz just doesn't work very well for this core. So I've used my function generator oscilloscope here, which is hooked up to my PC to find the optimal point for here. And I'm going to show you guys how I did that. Okay, before I do anything else, though, I want to just show you how we get this coil apart. So you have to push the magnets to one side and then ah, break it apart. And there is a lot of magnetism in here. I mean, just... And once they get together here, it is hard to get them apart. Um, but I want to show you guys, basically what I've been doing here is you can either have these two sides directly together so there's no gap or... You know, a lot of times in cores, you'll put a little spacer in between to create an air gap. And what that does is it keeps the core from getting saturated so that most of the energy transfer is happening in this little space instead of saturating the core. That allows you to uh, have a different operating point. And I'm going to show you guys on the graph uh, what that does here. But right now I'm just going to put this back together and we'll do some simple demonstrations here. Um, so I'm going to get this together here, put these in the middle, and here we go. So the basic testing that we're doing today is with the 100 turn input coil and the 1500 turn output coil. Just on one side, we will get to the switching mechanism later with our circuit board. Right now we're just doing basic testing input output of the coils on this transformer. Um, so yeah, these are connected to a function generator over here. Um, some of the basic transformer equations you guys should know are right here. Basically the voltage in and the voltage out have a direct relationship to the number of turns on the first coil and the number of turns on the second coil and an inverse relationship to the current. So if we're solving for our voltage out here, this is the equation that we get. So our second number of turns is 1500, first one is 100. So basically that gives us a 15 to 1 ratio. So if we were to put 2 volts into this system, we should get 30 volts out. So 15 to 1. So whatever we put in for our V1 is going to be multiplied by 15. That's what we should expect. Um, there's also a couple other calculations like the inductance of the 100 turn coil, the 400 and the 1500 turn, um, input output currents. Yeah, the reluctance, this is like the resistance to magnetic flux in the core, which is determined basically by the geometry and the material principles. So we've got a lot of data here that is going to push us forward. Um, right now I want to show you this function generator and how it actually works and how we determine the optimal operating frequency. Okay, so here's our basic program that's going to input our functions. So on the right hand side here, we can choose our frequency. Right here, we can choose what type of oscillating wave that we want. We're going to use a sine wave. We have an amplitude of 0.14 down here in the corner. And so, yeah, we're just going to look at the waveform here. So this is actually running right now, and it's at 50 hertz. And you can see that with 0.14 volts in, we're getting about 0.42 out. So with 0.14 in, oops, we should actually be expecting to get 2.1 volts out. 
So this is a lot lower than what we're expecting. And if we go down to 5 hertz, it's probably going to get worse. Let's just see what that's like. Yeah, that's 0.03. So yeah, 50 hertz. Let's go up to 500 hertz. Here we'll do an auto set. So that's 1.65 volts. Um, let's do 5,000 hertz. So here we get 2.22, which is closer to the 2.1 we'd be expecting. Um, and we're going to keep going up in frequency here. So let's do uh, 50K. That's 0.12. So it went way down. So somewhere in between 50 and 5 is where we want to be. So I've found that, let's see, what if we did it? Let's do 7 to show you guys. And here we'll set it. So that's 2.76 volts. What about if we do 10? Five point one eight volts. We're getting up there. So I've actually found that the ideal frequency for the highest output voltage is eleven point six kilohertz with no spacer in there. So got seven point one seven coming out. We were expecting two point one. So seven point seven is a lot higher. Um, we do have a higher frequency, and I'm going to look at the equations to see if this is balancing out energy wise um, but that's what we want to do so I've taken a lot of data points here what you see on this graph is three different curves here the first one is our transformer with no spacer second one has a 0.5 millimeter spacer and the last one the red one has a 1.5 millimeter spacer so you can see that as we create space in between the two sides of the core that it moves the operating frequency up, but it also decreases the maximum voltage out. So since we want to get the most voltage out of this system, we're going to use this blue curve, no spacer. And the maximum frequency of this curve is at down here, 11.8 kilohertz. So it's around 12 kilohertz. So that's definitely where we want to try and operate our transformer core at. So see this confusion of circuit mess here? We want this thing to be outputting a frequency around 12K into the both sides of these input coils that are going to be on here. And that's going to give us our maximum voltage out. So I'm excited to see what happens. You know, I've got some data here. Going to continue to get data. I'm about to go into school this next week and I'm going to do some other testing with the professor so there'll be more stuff coming. So anyway this is a uh, testing of the MEG with our function generator and what we've done today is we have tested and found out our operating frequency of 12 kilohertz. Awesome. See you guys for the next segment.